loves welcome to my channel with this mama loves disney so i have a quick little share uh project share um that i have been making and then i just wanted to show you a couple other little things that i have been working on okay so this is my project share i just wanted to share these little tassels that i made um i haven't yet used a comb to brush through these little um the little tassel parts but um, these little uh, Mickey Mouse heads Josephine had gifted me and so I just ended up making a bunch of little tassels with them and I tried doing um, a lot of them in Halloween colors not all of them I mean because like there's some of them that aren't Halloween which are over here and then some of them you know kind of have that Halloween oh and then there's some that don't have Mickey too I'm sorry um, I was just sitting down and I was, um, just fooling around and I just decided to put a bunch of them together. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do a bunch of different little tassels. So those are my little Halloween ones. And then I just wanted to give you guys, um, you know, I, we, everybody's been working on resin. And, um, so I re I tried the resin again because I told you I kind of had a flop with the resin before, um, where I was having a hard time because it was like, I don't know, it just came out really, really rough on some of these little, um, projects. They came out really rough. They're cute, but they came out rough. And there's a Mickey. And there's an N. And I put the little keys inside of them, on some of them. And like I said, these ones came out really super rough, and so they were really sticky. And I re and I put them back in again, and then they ended up not being sticky. Um, but I tried it again, and so I have some of them that came out really, really pretty. Um, so I have these ones with Mickey um, heads and bows in there. Um, I was having the hardest time getting this little eye pin in there. I think I got to put um, something inside there and twist it. Um, and then I made a T, which was for trick or treat. Um, I had made an E, and I just ended up putting um, some of these little, um, oh my gosh, where are they? Some of these little beads inside here. And I guess the beads just didn't have as much color because you can't really see the color as well. But I ended up putting some of those beads in there. And then here's a Halloween one I did that was supposed to be H for Halloween. And then there was supposed to be a P for pumpkin. And then a C for candy corn. And the candy corn one turned out so good. Oh my gosh, it turned out really, really good. And then um, I have an S here. That could be for spooky. And then I also did a D. And I used, um, oh my gosh, um, tonic glitters with butterflies and hearts. And I thought that turned out really pretty. The only thing that I noticed, though, in these, when you're putting the little, um, the little, I don't know if this is called an eye pin. I don't know what it's called exactly. Eye screw. Um, when I tried putting them into the H and I tried putting them into the P, it split it. Um, it's actually really rough. It just, it just split the resin. So I'm not really sure exactly what I'm doing wrong. Um, I guess, you know, it, it, it's like you have to go, I think you're going to have to go through like a couple bottles of resin to really figure out what you're really doing wrong, you know, and playing with all the different little ingredients that you put inside of it, um, you know, but um, it is fun and it does take a while and you can see like right here, this one um, came out with a really sharp little point there too and it just seems like... Um, it, I don't know, you can just see that when you go to put this little screw in there, it just protruded out a little tiny bit. So I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. I guess I got to watch a lot more videos to figure out if I'm doing it right. Um, and then I made a little perfume bottle. Um, I made some little bunny ears. And I 
don't know if I shared this one or not, but I did the seahorse. And then I try to do something with Mickey, but this is an epic fail. So we won't even share those. And then I did um, one mermaid tail, which turned out really cool too. So yeah, so those are, uh, you know, that's just my, because I know everybody's coming back and they'll kind of show you exactly what they did. And a lot of people have been putting some really cool stuff in. I've been putting beads in it and, you know, and of course I've been doing glitter. And then, of course, I did the little dew drops and, and here, you know, here's the bows and keys and glitter. So, yeah, I've been putting all kinds of little fun stuff in there. And then I finally got all these done. I had sat for the longest time just cutting all these out. And you guys... Oh my gosh, cutting out so many of these because this is like a labor of love. I mean, I was there, I felt like I was there all day just cutting these out. So I ended up cutting out a bunch of best witches and some trick or treats and some what's brewing, some happy Halloweens. Um, I have some treats, um, spooktaculars. And then I have this cute little kitty cat right here inside the pumpkin. And I had to glue these all together, of course. And I made a few different cauldrons. And this is not the cauldron that I've been looking for, of course. I mean, and this is not the cauldron. They're like little wooden black cauldrons that I've been looking for. So, yeah, these are not them. But um, I did put some little dew drops in this one little cauldron. I think that turned out really super cute. And then, of course, while I was at all the cutting and I had some of my um, Halloween um, characters, um, I went ahead and made a couple of the Minnie Mouse ones. I thought those turned out really super cute on her broom. And then I just cut out some regular blank uh, bats. But yeah, this was so much, so much fun. And, but it took a long time. This is die cutting all these dies because you only have one die, you know? So you, when you put them through, you're only allowed to do one pass for, you know, the dies. I try to put as many as I could of each die on there, but still, wow, it's a lot of cutting. <laughs> um, not my favorite thing to do, but you know, I did, I did enjoy, I do enjoy the outcome. So. I am all set with some of my collections. I do have a collection that I use the colors for most of these that are going to go with something. So um, I just am so excited because I feel like I'm ahead of the game now. So for once, you know, when I get to go, when I'm ready to craft, I already have a bunch of different items to already start off with. So that was exciting. And then, of course, I have my little tassels, my little Halloween tassels to work with as well. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.